Okay, Michael, um, hopes and ambitions for Championship 2014? Well, hopefully we'll have as good a Championship as we had last year in terms of entertainment. I don't think anyone would deny it was probably one of the best of the last 10 years, 20 years. So I'm particularly looking forward to see how teams set up tactically. Uh, everyone will remember how Clare brought the tactical approach to a whole new level by moving Tony Kelly up the field. You know, an incredible achievement given that he's such a young player and so much of the game plan went through him. And you wouldn't say that any team really came to grips with that during the year. But this year, they've all seen Clare playing the Ireland semi-final and final last year and replay. So everybody's fairly well briefed. So what will be interesting when the ball is thrown in after a few minutes is not maybe looking at the ball, but looking down the field to see how Clare's opponent set up. Because obviously everything is seen through the prism of the all Ireland final. Whatever method of play is used by the winners is taken as the default position. So that's one particular uh, challenge for me. to see how other teams answer that. The other teams obviously see the young talent come through. A few uh, very promising players who may get some game time. Uh, most obvious, probably Alan Cadigan with Cork because he's impressed in the league. Uh, another player I've had my eye is Ronan Maher, Tipperary, who um, you know, sage experts in the Premier County say is the next big thing. And someone like Austin Gleeson and Waterford. So you know, every year someone you know comes from nowhere, makes a name for themselves, and uh, that's another that's a perennial interest, I suppose, of seeing the new stars come through. And there's one or two older guys, of course, we need to keep an eye out for, like of Henry Sheffield and Owen Kelly of Tipperary. See if these isn't hold back the years and give all of us old guys a, a, bit, of, a bit of confidence. Was 2013 a good year for Hurling or was it a good year because of the all Ireland final and the replay? It's funny that I think a lot of people saw it as a good year simply because Tipperary and Kilkenny, and particularly Kilkenny, weren't, in, weren't involved in the latter stages. And that obviously brings a freshness to it for the media perspective, from supporters, there's new faces. You know, there's a novelty in hearing even the manager speak. But I'd say, you know, taking out merits, there were some fantastic games. The pace of the game seemed to be even up a level from the previous year. Maybe, you know, it was such a hot summer and the two youngest and fastest teams came through. So in that sense, you know, for all sorts of reasons, high scoring games, uh, you know, some incredible skillful vignettes. And, you know, a new champion always kind of casts everything in a, in a rosy glow. But I would say it was probably the best year since 2007. OK, and wearing your journalist hat, what, what would be the thing you'd be looking forward to in 2014 in terms of maybe team cooperation, etc.? Having some new faces, literally. Uh, not just the new names I mentioned earlier, but just dealing with new people and to see what they bring to the game. And not necessarily even on the field of play, talking about coaches and managers, you know, certainly in hurling as well as Gaelic football, there's a huge onus now on the coach as well as the manager. And you're talking about people in all the counties who are bringing something different, Louis Mulqueen, Mulqueen and Clare, um, you know, Pat O'Neill and uh, Tipperary, all these guys bring something different and they have to bring something different because Davey and his management team are bringing something different. So that's another aspect of it, is maybe going beyond just talking to the players, talking to people who have a theory of the game, how it should be played, how it can be improved, and maybe getting them to spread that out so that the whole game improves.